morning guys i think this will be the start of like a glow up video probably the least glowy uppy video on youtube but i really need some help in the looks department um it's the first of june which i've completely disassociated from the fact that we're probably going to be induced on the 26th of june touch wood that we can get there everything's okay um it makes me quite scared so i've just booked myself a hair appointment i'm gonna go i'm just going to like a headmaster's nothing exciting because you know i haven't got the budget for it but i'll show you my hair last time i had it cut was in september last year it is dreadful like hermione granger-esque as you can see it's really thick um most of the hair loss i had last year has grown back um but it basically i'm i'm thinking about well, i guess i am um that will do um growing it because i just want to see how it is i've when when olive died i just couldn't recognize myself at all i do think this is quite a big thing with grief and loss like i just still now like i've got used to how i look like this but i don't recognize myself otherwise with the short hair and i did the short hair it's just a little bit longer yeah i cut my hair back short after it grew last summer um and i just really wasn't happy with it i wasn't happy with the sorry about the boil out i'm just having a shower i just wasn't happy with the style of it she didn't like my hair is very thick and she didn't kind of like thin out the underneath sides um i don't know what the technical terms are so it was just really big and it's just grown really big so i think what i'm going to say today is to do a trim and then like a bit of a reshape and just take some of the weight out of it because it literally like it feels like it goes out here you saw and that's it tamed um i have styling products i have like i do like try to do a nice blow dry nothing makes it not be this big and it's also just really frizzy i got anti-frizz products that helps a bit but it's still just massive um my toast is ready so yeah i think that's what i'm just going to say today and then it's june now so that this haircut should keep me going until you know the end of the year maybe if he can do it so that it's kind of a bit thinner and can grow not thinner but just less it's just really bulky um and i just want to see how i like that i feel like doing probably the least like drastic change at the moment is probably the best thing because um marmite the best um <clears throat> i feel like when i went when i cut it short last year i really didn't like it I just felt didn't I felt really uncomfortable in myself so i'm thinking at the moment just to do the least drastic change just get it basically just reshaped and then you know at the end of the year hopefully i'll be feeling a bit more <clears throat> not even myself because I, I think it's like you know new new versions of yourself need to be found and i guess i could just see what i want my style to be like at the end of the year when it's grown even a bit more and i'm a bit settled hopefully with with baby number two so we'll see how that goes today wish me luck i'm a bit nervous but i'm also just like i'm not doing a lot to it so how wrong can it go but sometimes it really can go wrong but i don't love how it is now i just wear it up like this so and i'm not going to take too much of the length off so essentially i can just keep wearing it up like this so we'll see how it goes just packing my bag me and alan both got one of these um, uniqlo bags they're so good I'm going to use Alan's because it's black and it goes better with the cardigan I'm going to wear, which I'll show you in a minute. Don't mind these dummies. Alan's going to, um, what's the word? Sanitise? Uh, I can't think of what the word is, but you guys know what I mean. We just need to clean them. But I got these cases for them, which are good. I'm thinking she's going to like dummies because every scan I have, she's always sucking something. Her hand or her foot. She seems to love her feet, sucking her feet. So she might like those. So we'll get those ready for as well. But yeah, 
gonna use this as my bag and then just wear a cardigan. Then I'm literally just in black maternity trousers and a Uniqlo t-shirt. These are from H&M. Just, just black, black maternity trousers really. Nothing more to them. But this, maybe you can get a better look like this. Just really casual. This will be keeping me warm and I get hot really quickly. So if I need to take this off, I can just carry it. And then I'm just in, you know, a really simple outfit. So my haircut was a bit of a fail again. I don't think he really knew how to kind of make my hair a bit lighter in the weight. Um, so I have a similar problem to before. It's just still way too thick, but I guess it's not a bad problem to have. Um, and then afterwards I popped to Gales and got myself a nice little lunch. I had a decaf latte with a spinach and feta roll and a little brownie. Gales is one of my favorite places. You can always rely on it to have amazing food and like baked goods and they have sandwiches and pastries and oh, it's just always delicious oh, guys i'm so uncomfortable she's really high up she's right here i just walked past on my way home a like local nail place I don't know if it's in focus. Are they going to focus? They look really nice. £27, so good. I did really like Townhouse, but it's a bit more expensive. Um, but I am going to Townhouse next week for... Is it going to focus? There we go. Look how nice they look. Just really nice and neutral. My nails are really short, but they really needed some love. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And then probably I'll do them again just before my induction. I will be admitted in hospital by then, but I can, I'm can. i not like on bed rest or anything, so I can go out in between my um, checks. So, you know, a couple days before my induction, I'll be able to pop out, get my nails done somewhere near the hospital. But yeah, I'm really happy with this, 27 pounds. Like I said, I do really like townhouse, but it is more expensive. I'm going next week with my sister to townhouse to get pedicure. So I'll take you guys along for that. It's just nice to get pampered. I mean, it just looks so much nicer. I'm really loving just doing like a neutral at the moment, just keeping it really simple. I found I was going through phases of picking all these colors and I never liked it. But since I've started just doing like a really simple neutral, I just really like them. So that's nice. Now I'm gonna go home and probably have a nap, <laughs> but definitely put my feet up. This little one is doing roly polies and I can tell her head's up here because she, keep, she had hiccups up there. She keeps kicking over here and wiggling all her limbs around. So she's definitely still breech, cheeky little thing. She did one week, um, two weeks ago, where she stayed head down the whole week. And now she's gone back to being breech. And we are running out of time of her getting head down without us trying to move her there. So this little cheeky, naughty thing needs to learn to behave. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm happy for her to do whatever she wants. You know, just if she could go head down, that would be great. The week before I got admitted to hospital, I went with my sister to get a pedicure, which was great. It literally lasted so long. We went to Townhouse on the King's Road. Um, if you watched my previous vlog um, a couple of videos back, I went there for a manicure earlier in the year. And it is more pricey than going somewhere, you know, like your like normal, just like local nail shop. But if you want like a more luxury experience, it's really, really lovely. And they have townhouses spotted all over London. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for like a treat um, or if you have the budget to spend that on your nails, you know, all the time, then definitely go for it. It's really, really nice in there. I went for pink toes for both my girlies. Okay, so glad I've got this one edited. I think this is going to be the last of the... Um, footage that I recorded but I'll go through and just double check so the next video will either be um, vlogging with our baby and what our life is like now um, or I might film my labour and delivery story I'm not sure yet I want to but then it was the same with Olive I wanted to film Olive's labour and delivery but I don't know 
I find them both really hard to talk about actually. Um, in terms of updates from this video, this little one did end up going head down, but she wanted to come out the sunroof, apparently. Um, so I ended up having a C-section. I'm sure lots of you who follow me on Instagram will know that already, but um, for those of you that don't, yes, I ended up having a C-section because this little muffin just likes to do her own thing, and that's okay. I'm currently four and a half weeks postpartum, and finally the pain is far more manageable, which is good. Um, also, I ended my last video cuddling her too, and she was also just in a vest. Um, she does wear clothes. <laughs> we were just about to do some skin to skin though, um, so we're getting her ready for that. Um, but the other update from this video was my hair. So I am growing it. Normally I just wear it in a bun. You can see I've got quite a lot of it. I think I'm just going to keep wearing it until I either feel, you know, ready to have the bob again. Um, or we'll see where this takes us. Um, those of you that kind of have followed along and watched my videos for a long time will know I used to have really long hair. I don't see myself going back to having long hair like that. I'm thinking maybe to like, here. Yeah. Um, but we'll see how we go. I guess I'll, you know, see how we go with that and then decide um, what feels right for me at this stage. She's just had a really good feed, so she's a little bit vocal at the moment. We're trying to get some burpees out. But she can be quite stubborn with her burpees, can't you? Yes. Um, Okay, me and Tim Darling. So yeah, we'll see where we go. I've completely lost my train of thought. She's just so distracting and wonderful and utterly divine. I could just eat her up. Hmm? These cheeks are so gorgeous. She's definitely, when she was first born, she really looked like Alan. Um, and then as kind of the weeks have passed. She's looking more like me. Um, she also really looks like Olive sometimes, depending on the angle. Sometimes I look at her and I just see Olive, um, which, you know, is to be expected. They're sisters. And she also sometimes looks like my sister. So she's a bit of a chameleon, this one. Um, she's very, very special. Special little girl. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Bit of a nothing video, but, you know, hopefully you managed to enjoy it and just unwind yourself a little bit nonetheless. And, yeah, we'll see what the next video brings, and I will see you very soon. Bye. I'm going to say goodbye. She's not feeling it.